Hi, my name is Grzegorz Piwowarek and I'm a senior software engineer at Hazelcast. In today's video, we'll create our first Quarkus application, configure a Hazelcast client extension, build a GraalVM native image, and then run and test it. We'll begin our Quarkus journey by going to code.quarkus.io and generating our first application. In order to do that, we need to fill in necessary details like group name, artifact ID. Then we can cherry pick extensions we are interested in. And then we can click on generate your application button, download as a zip file. And now we are ready to open our project. Before we start, we need to make sure that we have a Hazelcast cluster up and running. We can do that easily using Docker. However, we need to figure out our public address for the auto discovery to work properly. Once we have the first instance up and running, let's repeat the process and create the other one so that they can form a cluster together. Once the cluster is running, we can now configure our Hazelcast client extension. In order to do that, you need to go to application.properties file and use one of the predefined config entries. And this is where we can point at our cluster by using the public IP address we figured out earlier. Notice that there is no need to provide a port number. The application is not ready yet. However, we can already leverage the hot reload functionality of Quarkus, which will pretty much hot reload our application whenever there is a code change detected. Our extension is now configured and we are ready to inject our Hazelcast instance into the example resource controller. Now we are ready to interact with the cache. In order to do that, let's create a second endpoint that responds to a POST request. This one will be responsible for placing values into the cache itself. Then let's modify the first one so that it reads values from cache and doesn't return a static string. And now, if we issue some HTTP requests, we'll see that indeed the application interacts with the Hazelcast IMAP underneath. And now we are ready to generate a native image from our application. But before we do that, remember to make sure that the cache is clean so that tests can pass. We need to make a small change in the test itself to make sure that it returns exclamation mark at the end. And now we are ready to generate our GraalVM native image. Keep in mind that there is no need to download your own GraalVM instance. This is all done inside the Docker container and managed by Quarkus itself. The whole process is quite lengthy, so don't be surprised if it ends up lasting a few minutes. Once the native image is ready, all we need to do is to dockerize it and then run it. Finally, we can see our application running. Notice the impressive startup time of 24 milliseconds. And now we are ready to interact with it, just like we did before. That's all for today, and see you soon in another video.